Hi guys, it's Maria from UNR Extension Partners in Parenting. Today we'll be making a kite out of a paper bag or lunch paper bag. We have markers to make our shapes, hole puncher, scissors, tissue, tissue paper, and our masking tape. We have different colors of masking tape. And then we we have a book about shapes to get ideas of the shapes we're gonna make in our in our drawings and our height. And we have some yarn and some glue. Let's get started. Okay, guys. And the first thing you wanna do is make your shapes on your baggie. Um, you could go around the house and do a shape hunt game, um, for example, saying, um, what kind of uh, shape is the door? Is it a square? Is it a circle? So something like that to give them an idea, uh, and let them use their thinking skills, um, uh, about what kind of, um, shapes they want to do on their baggie. So that's an idea, or you could also look through a shape book before you do your, um, your shapes on your baggie whatever you decide to do okay so once you're done filling up your um baggie with the different kind of shapes front and back or however you guys want to do it the next step will be making holes um if you don't have a hole puncher like this at home this one's called hole puncher remember whatever you do with your hands it's good for your motor skills and your fine motor skills when you're doing um, the drawings of your shapes and stuff. So um, first of all, we want to make sure we make a, a four holes. So it will be a hole in each side of the corner of the baggie, okay? So you could do one here and one over here and then on the other side. So we want to make sure we have four holes. Um, also, if you don't have a, a hole puncher at home, what you could do is use the point of a pencil to um, puncture the baggie, make a little, uh, to be able to poke it through the bag to make a hole, okay? Maybe you might wanna help parents that way they don't rip the bag apart. But uh, that that's an idea that you could do also a pencil if you don't have a, a hole puncher at home, okay? And once we're done doing the the holes like I'm gonna show you right now I'm gonna make sure you make the holes first then once we're done making the holes we're gonna put tape where we make the holes that way we could puncture it again make the holes on top oh what you could have done is put the tape first and then make the holes okay and the reason why we said to put tape is to strengthen the holes by covering them with um, masking tape, okay? So once you put the tape on there, we're gonna do uh, the hole again. So we're gonna put the tape on each side, like I'm doing it here. And then we just redo the hole again, okay? So once it's gonna look like this, so make sure you tape it on the four corners that we're gonna need the the hole where we're gonna make the holes. Okay, so something like this. Okay, on each side. Okay, once you're done with your holes, um, you're gonna cut out five pieces of string or yarn, whatever you have at home, about a yard long. So it's going to be pretty long guys, about a yard long. So we need five pieces of yarn or, um, or string, okay? The first thing we're going to do, um, once you have it cut out, you're going to put it through the hole. Through each hole, you're going to put a piece of string and tie it. This is a, a good skill also for fine motor skills. If you let your little ones put the string or yarn through the hole, you're gonna tie it. It's 
So you're going to do the same for each hole, okay? Okay, guys, and once we're done putting the yarn through the four holes, one, two, three, four, then we're going to hold the yarn together up uh, about six inches long. Um, you're going to tie it. You're going to use your fifth string that I told you to cut. So you're going to tie this one. Tie it right here. Once we're done doing um the tie uh, the tying the knot here, um we're gonna cut that excessive yarn of the four pieces of yarn, okay? Because you're just gonna you're just gonna remain with the with the fifth yarn that we told you to um. So you're just going to cut out those because this um, piece of uh, yarn is the one you're going to be holding your kite from the bottom, okay? It's the one you're going to be using to hold while you're flying your, your kite away. Okay guys, and once we're done tying the string, the string or the yarn, uh, we're gonna cut out either uh, if you have a tissue at home You're gonna cut a little some little strips Streamers are uh, made out of um, a Tissue or if you have uh, some of those party streamers you could use those if you have that at home or whatever color um, Whatever colored um, tissue that you have at home, okay? So we're going to start either gluing them down or taping them down. Whatever you have. If you don't have glue, you could use tape, okay? So this is for the bottom of our baggie. And you could use different colors if you like, however you want to decorate it. Remember, we're going to let it dry also, okay? We're going to give it a chance to dry. So I cut three different kind of colors. This one's a little more light. You can use it um, to practice also patterns by doing this, parents. You could practice patterns purple, pink, purple, pink. Okay guys, and this is how it's gonna look once you're done gluing or taping your um, your streamers on the bottom. Just continue taping more until you fill it up on the bottom so it will look nice and colorful. So, once it's done, with all the different shapes if you want to continue filling up your baggie and with the yarn already tied up so this is how it's gonna look so guess what guys once I'm done I'm gonna be ready to go out and fly my kite so I hope you guys have a great time making your own kite at home and enjoy the time outside flying your kite Thanks for watching.